Happy Halloween. And the shiny ones, eh? Welcome to part two of this Origins of Halloween's most terrifying monsters. Part two. Let's begin with werewolves. Now, these werewolves are nearly as old as mythology. They feature in so many stories in so many different cultures, right up to ancient Greek lichens. A man who was turned into a wolf by Zeus. To how how many features in Nordic folklore and sightings of the Wolfman and many Wolfmen, many wolf-like creatures have been sighted over the years. Pop culture mentioned many, many times, starting with Twilight, Teen Wolf. Being human, all these different shows. And let's move on to demons. Modern day religions still allow for the demon's existence. And priests perform exorcisms frequently to drive evil spirits away. Demons are present in so many religions. There is so much evidence of demons' existence that it is nearly impossible to not believe in them. Now, I am one of the few people that believe that demons are not all evil. Call me stupid, whatever you want, but I don't think they all are, so. And finally, <laughs> witches. Witches are one of the most infamous natural entity, often portrayed as an old hag or a beautiful woman. Now, I am a witch. Witches do not do that. We are not old hags, we are not all that crap. Okay. We modernized. Look at me. Do I look like an old hag to you? No. Exactly. We have a positive place in modern society, modern culture. There are shows like Charmed, so we have the Teenage Witch, Witched, and Harry Potter, the most famous of all. Now, we're often seen as sweet and smart, but some of us are evil. There are some dark witches, there are grey witches, there are white witches, there are eclectic witches. There are witches with all six gifts. And there are witches with one gift, or two, or four, or three. It depends upon the witch. Now, 80,000 suspected witches were killed, and 74 are said to be the only ones that were actually witches. Think about that. 74 out of 80,000 witches were actually witches. Those poor witches, those innocent families. <sighs> those innocent families of those. There are quite a few little girls executed for being a witch. They're often executed, like if a woman was seen at night wandering around and she didn't have a better excuse than, I just went for a walk, she'd be executed, accused and drawn, drawn, drowned basically, and if she survived the drowning, as in if she could swim, then she was portrayed to be a witch, if she drowned, then she wasn't a witch, and if she survived, they would do worse, worse things to her, things are almost too horrible to mention. Then there is the burning at the stake which would be the final punishment. Everyone knows about this by now. Thanks to the expose and many, many things. In the Salem witch trials and the Middle Ages combined, that's about 
80,200 people. 200 in the Salem Witch Trials, 80,000 in the Middle Ages. The difference is 200 in the Salem Witch Trials actually were just the accused. There are so many more that were killed that some haven't even found the bodies yet. And Salem is still visited so much all the time, of course. Now, I personally believe witches ain't bad. I'm biased, I know, but still, I don't think we're bad. It just depends, just don't provoke a witch and doom yourself. Happy sowing, everybody. <laughs>